Hey guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Rich. This is Wes. I'm Wes, of course, yeah. <laughs> and this is the cream filling of our Oreo. <laughs> Martin. <laughs> this is Martin. He's the owner of this bus. He brought it to us, man, almost a year ago now and uh, dropped it off with us and he flew back to Germany and we've been working on his bus pretty steadily ever since. And uh, so we're gonna show you the completion of this thing. You guys have followed a lot of the stuff we've done on it and this is the finalization of it. And Martin's getting ready to head back to Germany. So he's gonna drive this down to Houston and put it on a ship and we're gonna ship have this it over. in Germany, yeah. So yeah, if you, well, we'll uh, take you around and show you everything on it. You guys want to say anything in the beginning here? Let's rock. We'll start right here at the front door. Um, I kind of, as you saw in some of the past videos, I did struggle a bit um, with the door with this. We thought we were going to get a door from a company and they ended up coming through for us. So I was at a scramble to get a, a door for this. Luckily I had a guy here in town. He was able to custom make this steel door for us with this giant window. It's all tempered glass and we did this keyless entry so all you gotta do is oh do that to get in no key no nothing makes it really easy um we put a chair here we'll take you inside here in a bit but we put a chair here so we got a little rv window here uh, to be able to see out of and then martin you ordered come on over <laughs> you ordered some windows from what, what, what kind of windows did you get for this I got special windows which are meant for being used in expedition mobiles. Um, they are double insulated or tempered glass double insulated. And important thing over here, we couldn't get windows here in the States because in Europe you need to have a cer um, special certification and most um, manufacturers in the States, they just simply don't care about European certifications, which is totally fine. Right. But that means I ordered windows, they are already in Germany. And now the bus will ship without windows, just with a neat plastic foil. And as soon as the bus is over, I will, um, yeah, build in the windows. Put them installed, get them installed. Yeah, so basically, instead of shipping the windows clear over here, we went ahead and just built the uh, window frames uh, without having the windows. So we're going to hope they fit. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, you got seven of those. There's some yeah. two larger ones on the other side. Um, another neat feature that we did on this bus that we haven't done yet this was kind of a first for us is martin wanted to have a way that he could have a, a giant door on here with a patio deck type scenario so rich you want to go inside and uh, open that up for him <laughs> yeah thank you i'm glad you like it turned out pretty cool so basically we've put a uh, like a garage door scenario spring on here to help hold the weight as this thing comes down so it's a little heavy but probably i'm only holding about 20 pounds and this is probably man i would have to guess about 300 pound door or more i would imagine so anyway it comes down these are the uh cables that help guide it down and then these are the cables that actually just support all the weight I wanted to do it this way because the ground is always uneven a lot of times and I didn't want to have to put adjustable legs that hang outside here. So we opted just to do a cable system. So anywhere he parks, he doesn't have to worry about ground and he can just lower it down and have a deck that he can walk right out onto. Can't wait to sit here and have a barbecue or work. Yeah, put your, put your barbecue Wait. grill barbecue grill here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That'll be cool. And you can park on a cliff and dive into the ocean off of it as well. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, it just folds up just as easy. And we'll let Rich go ahead and latch it on the inside. You got it over there, Rich? All right. So that's it, and then there's a latch up in that corner. And then just as a secondary security, we've got the, yeah, we got this little master lock system. And just kinda, most people have seen these if they're in the tiny home world, of course. Just pushes in and locks, and that's a secondary lock system. So just in case something fails, this door can't fly open on the highway or better safe than sorry. around the corner. Yeah, better safe than sorry. Um, so we went 20 inch rays on this thing. We did uh, an angled transition from the second hat channel back. And just like my bus and a few of the other buses that I've done, Martin wanted to put a window up in the transition area. So 
There's a, yeah, there's a, there's a real ugly hot rod window up there. It's funny, you and I were talking and we were on the road and you saw the HEHR and you're like, what a crappy hot rod that is. And I'm like, yeah, they are. And when I was at the salvage yard, I found the perfect window for your bus. And it was from? From the crappy old ugly hot rod. <laughs> and he said, are you really trying to sell me a window from that thing? I'm like, yep. <laughs> but anyway, it turned out really great. The, the profile worked really well and worked out good up there. So it's a good use for the crappy hot rod window. Yep. Okay. Better than before. Yeah. <laughs> um, I guess we can go around on the other side. It's a little cramped over there, but we'll go over there. Check it out. That way you can just kind of see the window placement on the other side. <clears throat> so, got the two littler windows, and then these are some really giant, I don't know, maybe from the side view you can see how big these are, but they're, and do you remember how many inches those were? Actually, here's, they, they're uh, 1,765 millimeters long. How many inches is that? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> so anyway, it's, it's that big. Um, and he opted to keep his emergency doors, both of them, just to have more 72 access. 72 inches. 72 inches? Okay, so yeah, 72 inches. Let's take you on the inside and show you what that's all about. All right, so we're now inside the bus. Um, we, I think I mentioned we did 20 inch rays in here. Uh, we ended up, having to lengthen some of the wiring back in the back uh, for the tail light wiring and everything going up that high. So I had to cut that and splice that in. Um, we ended up putting the uh, wood furring strips in here everywhere in preparation for the spray foam. So basically the walls will then attach to these wood furring strips and just seal all this in. And the idea is you put those in first, do your spray foam. That spray foam then has about a 30% rigidity factor which helps glue and make this whole bus really rigid. So it glues these boards basically to the walls in a sense. So it really strengthens things up big time in here. Um, let's see, what else did we do? This is an Anderson window or a sliding patio door, just a standard home patio door. And show you the function of that. It's nice, it's got a screen. So when this thing is down, there's a nice screen to keep the bugs out. Or what do you call the bugs in German? What's Kiffer. A Kiffer? Mücken, in dem Fall Mücken. Kiffer Mücken? Yeah, that. <laughs> so, um, hopefully that picked up on the mic. I was standing a little bit. Um, up here, we, we use the uh, garage door roller assembly to try to, that's the assist, to lift and lower the door. Works out well. That one lifts up to 500 pounds. Or no, 800, that's an 800 pound one. Yeah, it lifts 800 pounds. So it's plenty of sufficient to help pull that door up. So it's not much weight at all. We also put in some little boxes. The rounded roof of a bus is kind of troublesome sometimes when you're putting in a skylight because skylights are flat. So we had to build a plenum or a, just a little platform for the skylight to go onto. So cut out a hole pretty close, I believe, to the dimension that the windows are but we left the top open and when he gets this bus to Germany, he'll be able to cut the top sheet metal out to exactly the dimension for your skylight once you actually physically have it. So we got two of those. We did this one, uh, what, what's this with the bus? Long ways. <laughs> sure, we did this one long ways and we did that one. Sideways. <laughs> Sideways. <laughs> Perfect. But in order to put this on a ship, you've had to actually fasten every single thing down in here. That's right. That way nothing can move around. This is a luggage, of course, from the airport. So he'll take that out when he hops on an airplane back. But yeah, I think that's, that's about it. You have anything you want to say or you? you want anything for closing? It's been great working on the bus. It's been great to see what uh, awesome work you did on the bus. I'm really, really, really uh, amazed. So yeah. Thanks for doing so. Oh man. How are things working out, like just coming over with my ideas in my brain, somehow poured it to your brain and then you made this beautiful thing over here and everything else happened. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate you trusting us with the work, man, and coming all the way from around the, the globe to, to us. It's like, it's pretty amazing. The internet makes the world really small, but man, it makes us feel special when people come from that far. So. And you definitely asked me. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Uh, it's been really great. Group hub? Okay. Uh. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, cool.
Thank you so much, Martin. And uh, if you guys want to follow Martin, he's on. Yeah, actually, go ahead and tell him. On Instagram, um, the W bus, the, the name of the project of the bus. Um, yeah, and if you want to see how I actually will continue the journey, the build out, the conversion build of the bus when I'm in Germany or when the bus will arrive in Germany, follow me and uh, stay tuned. There mm -hmm. will be a lot of uh, other things because now the real world start, um, real work starts for me. Yeah, yeah, you got a lot of work Lots to do. Of tears, uh, sweat, and uh, joy. And blood. And blood. Yeah. The, Hopefully not, but blood, sweat, and tears. It always happens. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in and uh, we'll be on to the next project. Stay tuned. We'll see you.